Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, I realized that I've been gone for a very, very long time and I could go on and on about how I've been gone and why I've been gone and whatever, but I think it's far more interesting to just get into what I want to talk about and that is Hitman Reborn. Now, I the year is what, 2008? 2009 ish or whatever i am middle school going into high school i love this show it's one of the first shows that i like really really started getting into like extra stuff outside of just like naruto and even bleach um and i absolutely loved it it, it was so weird um because you had like there's the fan subs but then funimation was working as like the like licensor like the Funimation was hired to work as like a as like a liaison to kind of like s like take out any fan subs or like make sure that it wasn't being distributed illegally which fair on them they were just doing their jobs but it made it really really hard to watch this show sometimes and I just I loved it I think it's fun I I actually skipped the first arc just so I could get into like the like what what was it like the rival family or whatever that wanted to take over the Vongolas with like Zanza says like the leader because I wanted to get into that and then I went back and I rewatched the beginning part where he's like running around in his underwear. Um, but that's the past is not really what I want to talk about right now. What I want to talk about right now is the future. And here's the thing. <laughs> Last week, they announced, well, they, Brittany Lotta, um, she's known for, let's see, what, what is, she's got her, she's known for many characters, it looks like she was a character in JoJo's, I know her as Yuzuriha from Dr. Stone and Young Law, and so she's, she's pretty well known, um, but she, along with Matt Shipman, who is also in Dr. Stone, he's known as, uh, uh Chrome in Dr. Stone, and he's this wind guy from, uh, My Hero Academia, and he's also, uh, Flock, which, I, that's a video for another time that I don't want to get into right now. Either way, the point is both of them, both of them came out and said, hey, we love this series. There has never been a dub of the series. Um, there's uh, up until I honestly, I don't know when, but like Crunchyroll picked up this like official subs of Reborn. And it's so now you can watch the subs on Crunchyroll, um, but there's never been an official dub. And so yeah, that's something that like I think a lot of fans like they watched this series and they loved it and they were like, well, when is it going to get a sub? When is it going to get a, or a dub rather? And it never did. And you kind of move on with your life. Flash forward to 2024. I can't believe it's 2024 already. And you have these two voice actors who have financed the dubbing of three episodes as well as the OVA, which I've actually never seen. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, and these two, it's clear that they love the show. They and they want to see something. Uh, Brittany's going to be Suna. Uh, given that they they financed the show, they wanted to be their favorite characters. And so she gets to be Suna and he's going to be Gokudera. Uh, and honestly, I listened to some of their clips that they sound perfect. The entire cast that they've got, everybody that they got to work on this project is awesome. And it's being distributed by uh, Disco Tech Media. And they're releasing only three episodes because it's kind of just like a test bed to see if people are interested. Um, and then maybe if they get enough, uh, enough of the ball rolling, maybe Disco Tech or another company can kind of finance a full dubbing of the entire show. Um, it's just so cool. And honestly, they got a stacked cast. <laughs> so you've got Brittany and Matt as Suna and Gokudera. They got Ash Ketchum to be reborn. They, she sounds perfect as him. He's awesome. I love Veronica Taylor so much. And then they got Zena Robinson. Um, he's in a lot of stuff more recent. Uh, he's good. I like him. They got Chris Sabat to play Zanzas. I'm looking forward to hearing him in, in his role. They got uh, David Wald. Let's see. Who else did they got? They they got um, they got a lot of people. Patrick Seitz. They got a lot of really cool people to work on this sh on this like little project that they have going on. And obviously, like Brittany and Matt were like they had to spearhead basically everything they were given. Uh, 
with some some they were probably like allowed into the this coach of sound uh like office just kind of work on their on the stuff and then they they did basically everything and they financed it and i honestly i've never been more excited if you follow me on twitter you probably got blasted in the face with a bunch of retweets and me freaking out about this because this is honestly a long time coming if you like reborn in any capacity i listen i never don't buy things just because somebody else tells you to buy things but please, for the love of God, if you want to see this, you've got to you've got to like you've got to support this. It's it's like you get a lot of like people, especially with like Bleach or uh, even Naruto to some degree where it's like, oh, DVD box sets. And they're like, if you want to see the like more s support for these series, then you've got to do this, that and whatever. And like. I get that. That's definitely like it, you know, consumers drive. It's it's all about demand and supply and all that jazz. But this is the kind of thing that like nobody else was asking for in the industry. It is like what, how many years? 15 years, 16 years, 17. I don't even know. It's been so long since this series has been like relevant um and it never got a fi it never got like a finishing to it they didn't animate the the final arc um and so you've got this you've got this weird series that is 203 204 episodes long it never finished this the series as a whole it never got an english dub and now fans who have grown up and are now in the industry are actively able to kind of sway, even if it's just like, you know, hey, let us use your studio so we, we can finance this project ourselves. This is like, this is awesome. This is awesome. And honestly, it just, it makes me so excited. I think that this is great and I can keep going on and on and on. It's really, really exciting. That's like, I've never been more excited about a, a series coming out and here, like, so it's going to be it's going to be uh, I, it makes me a little sad because they're like 203 episodes is too much. It's too much to dumb. And it's like, no, you you could do that. You could do that. Um, but they they they've kind of they're going to release this on a on a special fan disc. Um, it's going to be episode one, episode 20, which I think is like somewhere in the start of like the fight with. Zanzas, Zanzas's crew. It might, it might be more of with, uh, uh, what's the guy that's in prison, but then he takes over the body of the, the girl. I don't know. It might, it might be somewhere in there. And then episode 77, which I think is when they're just getting into the future stuff. Um, and then obviously the reborn OVA, which I've never seen myself. So I'm excited to see that. Um, it looks like they've, they've upscaled it to 1080p. Um, it'll be, one low price disc. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited. I don't think that they've announced when it's coming, um, but it's I honestly it's it doesn't matter. The fact that this exists at all is shocking. And I think it's set like it's set everybody hair, everybody's hair on fire because <laughs> kind of like that. Um, it, it is it is one of those things where it's like if this works, this could open up a whole new avenue for legacy anime that never got brought over before because anime was in a weird spot in the early 2000s and late early to mid 2000s and i think it's just this is a really cool opportunity and for a series that that so many people like and love it's really it feels really good to know that people that are in the industry are willing to go to bat for it all right i'm gonna try and keep this under 10 minutes if I can, or at least as close as possible to it. I'm super excited for Hitman Reborn to come back in some capacity. Maybe if this does well, the, it'll get a full, the full series will be dubbed. Um, I highly doubt that it'll have everyone that they've cast in these episodes and uh, the OVA, because obviously scheduling and hiring, like doing a one off thing project where it's like, oh, they come in for like a for a day. Uh, that's one thing, um, but we shall see. I'd love it. I'd love the cast that they got here. So if they could keep as many of the people as possible, if they ever do come back with a full 203, 204 uh, episode dub, it would be great. Um, 
I'm just really, really excited. What do you guys think? Are you have, are you guys fans of Reborn? Um, are you excited? Make sure to buy this because if if we don't support it now, it'll probably never gonna, it's probably never gonna happen. So I I I'm just I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. And honestly, if you want to see more of Reborn content. And maybe I'll do more. I can't promise I'll be back ever all the time. And I can't I can't promise uh, scheduling um, uh, a proper schedule of me uploading stuff. But I'd like to talk about Reborn. And if there's more news about it, I'd love to talk about that. So I will see you guys in another video, hopefully very, very soon. Pokemon Day is coming up next month. So, of course, I'm going to record my reaction to whatever they do there. Um, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. See you later.